Hello Traffic Dominators, I hope everyone is well. I am really, really excited about today, but before we start, can you give me the normal sound check? Um, give me a big fat one below, to, so I know that you can hear me, because you do not want to miss this. This is uh, something I'm really excited about. Brian, how are you, mate? Um, Mr. Stuart Coles, hope you're well. Ida, hope you're good. Um, make sure one, thanks, Tamara. Uh, give me loads of ones so I know loads of people are here um, because I've been bigging this up, uh, but you will see why very shortly because I've been sitting here with this guy going through what we're going to teach you. It's going to blow your heads off, okay? Throughout this live, what I'd love to see, guys, is I want to see the comments um, of how much you enjoy this, how much you enjoy this train. I really want to see the questions. Uh, we are got him for an hour Okay, so it's going to be dead on. Big fat one. Thanks, Mandy. Um, thanks, Ant. So we want to make the most of that hour. So I'm not going to uh, give it too much of an introduction. But pretty much everyone on this live, okay, knows the problem with emails, okay? I've been speaking to uh, this guy. I'm going to introduce. I'm going to keep the suspense for a few more minutes. Um, I've been speaking to this guy about how we email, and we email very similarly, except... He kind of goes into depth a lot more than I do. I literally sit here, okay, and whatever comes into mind, I type it out. That's how I do my emails. I've just been sitting here with this guy and realised that even I can learn things, which he's now going to show you. Um, and When you think about this, guys, the missing key, Pearl, how are you, mate? The missing key for a lot of people, okay, is the emails. We all focus on getting more opt-ins. We all focus on making our, make sure our traffic's coming in. But the missing key a lot of the time is emails. The emails are what lead to more opens. They're what lead to more click clicks. And a very well-written email can lead to more sales. Okay, so we, we've got to make sure these emails are on point. Um, so, guys, let me, just, let me just see where you're coming in from. Let me see whereabouts you're all from. I want to get as many people. I want to get some interaction going on this live uh, to make sure we've got... Everyone in the group knows this is live, okay? So we need some comments below to keep this thing alive. Thanks, Ragav. Thanks, Yvonne. Um, we want to keep this going. Uh, throughout this, ask questions. And if I can ask him while, um, while he's in fl full flow, I will, okay? But I want to let him teach you what he's got here to show you. So I'm going to introduce you uh, to this guy. Let me just flip over. There we go. Here we go. So, guys, this is JK. Some of you may know him. You might need to unmute yourself. <laughs> that would probably help, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, awesome. Um, I am super, super excited about this, guys. We've just run through the content of what we're going to show you, and it is insane. JK, tell uh, tell the guys a little bit about yourself, um, how you got into email, and especially why you love it so much. All right. Well, thank you so much for that, Wayne. Uh, good morning, guys. Hope you guys are having a good day wherever you are. It's 10 o'clock in the morning here in Toronto, where I live. Uh, so what I do in most of my business is a combination of affiliate marketing and, uh, and also do like a lot of training on funnel design, conversion optimization and email marketing, which is what I'm here to talk to you about today. And ultimately, look, if you want to learn how to triple your sales in any niche, then you need to become really, really good at email marketing. You need to understand the tricks of email marketing and how that all works. And I discovered that by actually sitting down and writing emails for affiliate campaigns for ClickBank products and affiliate campaigns for products off like Warrior Plus and JVZoo and things like that. Because, you know, I have an email list. I'm sure you guys have got an email list or you're building up an email list. And so much of our business is based on sales and communication and how you're able to present an idea to your audience. And I sat down one day to write an email and I figured that, you know what, this is, if I'm going to send this out to, let's say, 100 people, and if I'm able to get 20 people to open it and 10 people to click on the link and five people make a sale uh, or five people go and make a purchase, then that's great for me. But if I'm able to optimize every single word, every sentence around one specific purpose, which is to go and get that sale and to bring more revenue into my business, then if I can send it to 100 people and get 40 people to open it and get 20 people to click on the link and get 10 or 15 people to make the purchase, then I'm able to go and triple my sales just from writing an email more effectively. So I became obsessed with email marketing uh, because it is the tool that grows billion dollar businesses. I mean, outside of the internet marketing space, any type of business online, email marketing is so, so important. So that's what I'm passionate about. 
that's where I find that a lot of my revenue and my sales come from. It doesn't matter what niche you operate in. If you're building an email list, you've got to learn how to use it correctly. And it's not about how big your email list is. It's about how you're able to actually communicate with the people on that list. And that's why email marketing has become such a huge, huge passion of mine in the past few years in particular. Boom. Uh, couldn't have said it any better myself, mate. So <laughs> what an awesome introduction. So exactly, guys. Um, I'm going to let JK loose on this. I'm, you're not going to hear much from me. Um, if you guys have questions, I'll be reading them out to JK. Okay, because of sin, what he's going to show you guys, I know what he's going to go through now. It's going to blow your mind like it did mine. Um, and this is kind of, like I said, this is the missing key for a lot of people. I'm actually going to sit, I've actually got my staff here to watch. Okay, so I've, um, let me know if you're here, guys, and you can see my staff are sitting here watching if they comment below. Um, and also the comments I'm getting about you are fantastic. Uh, a lot of the time, guys, in this niche, um, you can, you come across some, I don't know what the word is, rough, roughens? Rough, rough people. Rough people, <laughs> some rough people. Um, and straight away, I jumped on a call with JK and you instantly, this is what he's like, um, so helpful and fantastic. And the feedback I've got about him from other people has been fantastic. So I've got a feeling, mate, that we're going to do a lot of good stuff together because the synergy between us, um, fits perfectly, and you're going to see what I mean very shortly. So what I'm going to do, yes, the, the record, there will be a recording, guys. Um, it's nice to see the numbers going up. We want to, I really wanted to get 100 people on this. I think we might be close. Um, oh, I've just commented, I'm here, yay, under Wayne Crow, but that will be one of my staff. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and there's a little, yeah. So um, we're going to dive into the training, guys. Um, make sure you've got a notepad. Make sure you've got new distractions because I really want you to listen to this. Okay, there will be a recording. You will be able to go through it again and learn. Okay, but you're going to pick up so much here. So what I'm going to do, Jake, I'm going to hand over to you, mate. I'm just going to have to click a few buttons and hopefully they will work. Uh, so give me a second. Sure. Um, if you share your screen. Yeah, let me bring this up here. There we uh, go. There we go, and then I will change over. I know he's gone small, guys, but I'll just change over to his screen uh, so you can see it full screen. You are going to love this, guys. Um, this is where it normally goes right or wrong at this point. That's gone wrong. Boom, there we go. Let's try that. There we go. This is how you know it's live. The guys always know it's live because I always have some technical mishap. Um, yeah, always. So, uh, JK, <laughs> they're now seeing your screen. Let me know, uh, everyone, that you can see his screen. Uh, let me know you can see it. It should be full screen now. So let me know with a one below you can see his screen. Because the last thing I want to do is JK getting full flow and then you're like, well, I can't see his screen. There is a bit of a delay, JK. It's like 20, 30 seconds by the time they get this, they have to wait. Just make sure. For sure. Yeah, no, I, I understand for sure. Big fat one, guys. Let's see the ones. One, brilliant. So they can see your screen, mate. Over to you, mate. I'm going to be taking notes as well. So uh, I'm excited. Over to you. All right. Awesome. 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 I'm very excited about this as well. And as Wayne said, guys, as I'm going through this, uh, I get really in excited. I get really enthusiastic when I talk about this stuff, which is how you know that I love to talk about it because I'm very passionate about it. So if you guys have questions, post them in the group. I've told Wayne to interrupt me as much as he needs to, to make sure that you guys get the good quality content there. Um, but first of all, let me talk about what it is that we're actually going to discuss. And then I'll jump into this weird email that I've got on screen that I've written all over. So I mentioned before that I want to get really good at email marketing. And I decided that one of the most effective ways to learn how to do that was to just get onto everybody's email list. So great email marketers like Andre Chaperon, Ben Settle. I mean, there's no shortage of people I could go into, Ray Edwards. Um, and I decided to get on their email list and I just wanted to read their emails. And I just started reading and reading and I'd get five, six, seven different emails a day. And then it got up to like 20 and 30 emails a day. And I would just sit there and read them and I'd print them off and print them off. And I'd write notes all over the emails, just like you see on the screen here. 
And what I found is that the really great online marketers, the ones who are the most successful, like we're going to look at an email here in a second from Frank Kern. And I'm sure you guys have heard of Frank Kern, right? Let us know in the comments if you haven't heard of Frank <laughs> Kern. We'll educate you afterwards. But Frank Kern is one of the best marketers, uh, uh, best online marketers in the world. And his emails, whether he writes them or he has a team who writes them is irrelevant. The fact is that they come from his brand. People open up the emails because they recognize his name. And also all the little parts of these emails that go into how he actually structures a sales campaign are what delivers thousands, hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in sales in his business. Sales emails are such an important part of his business. And after going through Frank's emails and Ray Edwards' emails and Russell Brunson's emails and Andre Chaperone's content and a whole bunch of other emails like that, I decided or I found out that most really successful marketers, they assemble their emails in a very specific way. There are certain triggers and there's certain ways that you can introduce language that helps your customer understand what it is that you're trying to sell them and creates the desire for them to purchase your product JK, before they even click on the link. JK, so I know so so can you yeah. slow down a little bit? <laughs> yeah, it's like you've had a little bit of Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had 15. I've only had 15. <laughs> um, yeah, so the way that most marketers write their emails is that, as Wayne said before, you're going to sit down and you're going to write out what it is that you want to talk about. And you just kind of, most people, I think, kind of wing it. And they just kind of have an idea of what it is that they want to sell. And they kind of write their email about, well, it's going to do this for you and it's going to do that for you. And really, what a very, very successful email is going to do is it's actually going to create desire to click on the link. They're not actually gonna sell the product too much in the email. They're just gonna create that desire to want to know more. They're gonna create a lot of curiosity. Uh, and then that click is gonna lead over to the sales page and that is where the selling is going to be done. So in this assembly uh, of, e of emails that I've been collecting and notating and writing and taking notes on for, for multiple years now, I found that the best emails that I receive are the ones that have been assembled where every sentence has been determined to get one specific objective. And that is to get to the next sentence of the email, which then the objective of that sentence is to get you to the next sentence and the next sentence. And they always lead up specifically to getting that click over to the sales page or to, you know, the Facebook Live or the webinar or whatever the case may be. So what I want to do for you is break down in this lesson, this email that I received from Frank Kern last year. I don't remember exactly when it was last year, but it's 257 words, right? And I'm an English major. I studied English in university. I got a degree in it. And that's why I think I'm also really interested in email marketing because I love language and how it can be used. So this is 257 words, which is less than a paragraph. Your standard paragraph in like a book or something is about 300 words. So this is less than a paragraph. And it is one of the most effective emails that was just sent on a whim uh, that I've personally received from Frank Kern's team. And I think that it's a really, really exciting way for you to kind of understand how emails can be assembled with the objective of going to get more sales. So if you want to learn how to assemble this email, you want to learn all the triggers, uh, then stick with me on this because I'm going to go through every single part of it here. And I want to hear your questions and I want you guys to really get excited about email marketing as excited as I get. And if I do start talking too fast, definitely <laughs> let me know say you're talking too fast. No, but you don't. Just, um, I just want the guys to kind of pick up on absolutely everything um, from this point in. Now we're diving in. So any questions, guys, stick them in the comments. If something doesn't make sense, let me know um, because it's 274 words, was it? 257. 257, um, that's it. But I like wait for the training you're going to get, okay? So I want to make sure this all makes sense for everyone, Okay because I know how tough writing emails is. Sorry, mate. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. Anytime you want to jump in, just, just go do. right. I will keep it nice and natural. Um, so uh, the, the thing that I want to point out is that you can see on the notes on the screen here, I've got like the word fear and hook and stuff. What I do is when I, when I go through these emails, I print them off and I actually write all over them. It's an understanding that human beings, right, when you're trying to communicate with them through email, your brain is basically a computer. And there are certain triggers that you can activate when someone is reading over an email that is very, very effective 
at getting them to go wherever you need them to go. So as we go through this email, I want to talk about tr hook, uh, different triggers, different hooks, and different ways that you can coerce people into taking action. And I want to point out that the word coerce is not a bad word in this sense. We're not using manipulation. We're not getting people to act against their best interest. It's just about getting them to understand what you were trying to do. And if you're trying to sell a product online, it's because that you believe in that product and you want them to get that product because it's going to help them solve a problem. So you owe it to yourself to understand how to communicate your ideas more effectively. And that is what we're going to learn right now. So every email starts off with a subject line, of course, because if no one opens up your email, no one's going to read it. So you got to make sure that you put a lot of effort into your subject lines. And what's going to work best of all for your subject lines is to create a lot of curiosity. And you can create curiosity in a whole bunch of different ways. You can actually just put in uh, one simple word. If you use a one word subject line that says, let's say, wow, period, that's going to create curiosity. People will want to understand what that is. It's very, very ambiguous. It could mean any number of things, and it's going to get people to open up the email. That's the goal of your subject line is to open up the email. That's it. I see so many people talk about, you know, this product is live right now. And it's like, okay, that's great, but you know that doesn't that doesn't encourage me to open up the email because I know that that you're going to try and sell me on this product. So what you want to do with your subject line is you want to create a trigger that gets people to open up that email. And curiosity is one of the easiest triggers that you can activate in someone because you need to figure out what this subject line is. There's a desire inside of you to kind of figure out what that curiosity might be. This subject line from Frank Kern that you see on the screen here, don't ever do this. This is what I would consider a fear-based curiosity <laughs> trigger, all right? So stick with me on this. If I got an email and it said, don't ever do this, dot, 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 I'm going to open up that email because that creates a lot of fear. What should I not be doing? What's going to happen if I do it? Is this something I'm already doing? Those are three massive questions that I now have to get the answer to. And the only way to get the answer to that is to open up the email. So the goal of your subject line is to get people to open the email. And if you can activate a trigger around fear, curiosity, desire, want, uh, people are going to open up your email. Your subject line doesn't have to relate to the product that you're trying to sell. It doesn't have to relate to the webinar that you're trying to invite people to. The subject line, the only goal of the subject line is to get people to open up the email. So hopefully that makes sense. If there's any questions, like I said, post them in the comments. But your subject line is very, very important. You want to create a lot of curiosity because that's going to satisfy the subject line's job, which is, of course, getting people to open up that email. Now, in this case, Frank says, hey, JK, because he has my first name in his autoresponder, I've got a secret for you. All right. Now we call this a hook. You want the first sentence in a lot of situations, especially if it's an important email, like a sales email, you want to have a hook right away in your first sentence, because that is going to complete its objective of getting people to want to read more of your email. Now we're going to talk about a couple of like advanced things like open loops and how you can use that really effectively in your emails or in any type of sales material. But the goal here is also kind of coming back to curiosity. If someone says, Hey, I've got a secret for you. You want to know what that secret is, right? So if Frank Kern sent me an email and says, I've got a secret for you, I want to know what that is. And if the subject line has created this sense of fear and curiosity, maybe that secret is tied into how to avoid that fear. So it creates the desire to move on and read the next sentence. The next sentence says, there are really only two ways to get people to buy from you. Again, you can see how every single sentence here is structured to move people to the next sentence, the next sentence, the next sentence, and so on. So in this, in this case, right, if you were to tell people, I've got a secret for you, and then you say there's only two ways to get people to buy from you, what's the next logical thing that you are feeling as the person who's reading this email? You want to find out what those two ways are because you want to sell things to people. You want people to buy your products in this case or you know, whoever Frank is sending this particular email to. He's setting an expectation that in this email or somewhere on this page, there's going to be a link to understand what these two things are, right? The first way requires a lot of work and isn't very effective. It involves trying to convince someone that your idea is the right one. No bueno. So if you think about your own sales process, you think about your own business online, when you have something that you want to sell, whether it's a service, whether it's an affiliate product, whether it's a digital product, whatever it might be. If you want to sell something, most people are going to think that I need to convince someone that my idea is the right one. That's kind of the standard idea. When it comes to sales, if you don't have a, a detailed understanding of sales, most people have an understanding that sales involves trying to convince people that they should buy your product because it's the best product on the market. Sales in general, I'm not going to get too deep into this, but sales in general is more about 
uh, showing people how your idea works and how it's going to help solve their problem. It's not about convincing them that your product is the best. So if you're not experienced with sales, right, at this point in the email, we've got fear and curiosity has gotten us to open the email. Frank has told us that he's got a secret for us. He said that there's two ways that people are going to buy from you. And the first way is probably what you're doing right now as the reader of the email. And he says right here, it's a lot of work and it isn't very effective. Now, right before we even get to the next sentence, what do we want to do as the readers of this email? We want to find out what the other way is, because the other way is probably very effective and it doesn't require as much work. So automatically, right there in that first four sentences, he's told us that we have a secret to get us to keep reading the email. He said that there's only two ways to get people to buy from you, and there's multiple ways to get people to buy from you, but he's locked the you down as the reader of this email to say that there's only two ways. The first way, is what you're probably doing, but it's actually incorrect. So what do you think he's gonna do next? He's gonna tell you the correct way to do it, and then that's actually gonna structure itself into the offer. So let's continue. Does this make sense? You guys are saying like how each sentence is assembled specifically to get you to read on to the rest of the email, right? And if you have any questions, yep. please um, just drop them in oh, the comments. Oh, sorry mate, ask the questions guys. I know um, JK went, he zoomed through that, but there was so much information inside, just even the first three, four sentences. So um, if you have questions, I am watching out for them as long as they um, make sense. Thanks, Tamar. Let me know it makes sense, guys, because JK, is, I think he's a lot like me. He likes the feedback, so we know we're all on the same page. Okay, yeah, we're all exactly. at the same place. Um, I'm going to only answer questions pertaining to this, okay? So is it necessary to have a website? Uh, yes, yeah, a bit of a strange question. So only about the actual email content, guys. Yes, makes sense, makes sense, brilliant. Again, don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, this is going to be a packed training, okay? So don't be afraid. Awesome. We've got loads of good feedback that makes sense. Good, good, good. Perfect. All right. So we can kind of see where this is going, right? Hopefully you guys can see where there's like this assembly part is coming into play, right? We create that desire to open the email and then we create desire to read more and read more and read more. And ultimately, as we get to the bottom of this email, I'm going to go back and recap certain parts of this so that you can see the ultimate goal is to get people to click on his call to action. And I'm going to go back and recap all these different little steps along the way as we got there to, so you can kind of see how the whole thing comes together. So the truth is, this is where most of us start out when we are learning how to sell. Now, this is why I call this the enlightenment email, because what we're trying to do here, what Frank does, which is really, really effective, and you can apply this to any email you're ever going to send if you have something to sell. If you can educate someone or give them a light bulb moment or an aha moment or provide some kind of enlightenment where they can see something from a new perspective that they've never considered before, then they're going to be more likely to want to learn more about how that feels. And I kind of liken this in a weird way to the movie Inception, if you've ever seen that, where you actually want to plant an idea in your reader's mind that they believe that they have come up with themselves. So let me show you how Frank does this, because this is just genius. Uh, the second way, so remember, we talked about the first way. It's not very effective, doesn't work, and you're probably doing this right now. So we want to learn what the second way is. The second way is where you get your prospects to convince themselves to buy. Now, that's a dream situation. I mean, from a sales perspective, right, as an email marketer, if I can get my readers, if I can get anyone in any niche to convince themselves to buy my products without really putting that much effort into it, where they believe it's their own idea, how amazing would that be? That is like the dream situation. So instead of forcing them to believe in your idea, you, uh, you make it their own idea. We're more willing to act on our own ideas because it's our idea. It doesn't even matter how bad our idea is, we will defend it to the death. So this is the enlightenment part. This is now where we've gone from, Frank has taken you from understanding that the way you're probably doing sales right now, it's not very effective, it's a lot of work. So we're creating kind of a sense of pain and discomfort where it's like, oh, Frank Kern's a really top sales guy. And he's saying that what I'm doing is not very effective and it doesn't work. So how am I gonna get around that? How am I gonna overcome this problem? And this is where he provides the enlightenment that dream situation of saying the second way is where you get your prospects to convince themselves to buy. You make it their own idea. It doesn't matter how bad that idea might be, they will defend it to the death. So we're kind of creating this desire with our readers. So this sense of enlightenment is something that you can apply to literally any email, whether it's trying to get people to a webinar, whether it's trying to get people to purchase your products, whether it's trying to get people to download the lead magnet that you offered them on your opt-in page. Because if they don't look at the lead magnet, they're not gonna build up that rapport and trust in your brand. 
to get them to actually take action on what you want to do, if you can enlighten them and show them a new perspective, they will actually start to uh, they'll start to believe that that's the right thing to do, and they will associate you with providing them with that perspective. All right. So right here again, just to kind of I'll recap where we've gone so far. He says he has a secret. He's created that desire to want to learn more. He says there's two ways to get people to buy from you. The first way is probably what you're doing and it doesn't work. The second way is getting people to convince themselves that it's their idea to purchase your product or it's their idea to solve their problem with your product and they will want to take action on that because they believe it's their idea. So this part so far, right, we haven't even talked about the product. He hasn't mentioned the product that's for sale. Right now, up until this part of the email, there might not even be a product for sale. It's just all been about getting the mindset of the reader to believe that they want to learn how to do this, how to convince people, uh, sorry, how to get their readers or how to get their prospects to convince themselves to buy. So now, at this point in the email, we're kind of feeling pumped up. We're like, yeah, I want to learn how to do this. This sounds pretty cool. And this is where he introduces the offer. So now we're prepped, we're ready, we're excited to go. Here's where he introduces the offer. I created a program called Subconscious Selling that shows you how to get these internal decision triggers to fire in the minds of your prospects and buy your stuff, right? Now, if he'd started off the email by saying, hey, I've got something called Subconscious Selling. If the subject line was Subconscious Selling launches today, Probably people would open it for sure because they want to know what that is, but he's already kind of given away the farm. He's already given away the idea that this is going to be a sales email. I am going to get you to buy this product. I want you to buy this product. And when people open an email with the expectation that you want them to buy a product, then they're kind of going to get their guard up because they're going to think that I'm going to be sold to. I got to try and find a reason not to buy this product, right? Subconsciously, that's what our mind does. If we know we're going to be pitched on something, generally we try and get our guard up and we try and be a bit more defensive. So he's gotten around that completely by saying that, hey, I'm going to tell you what you're doing is wrong. I'm going to tell you that my way is right. I'm going to get you to believe that that is correct. And now I'm going to tell you how I'm going to teach you how to do this big idea right here, how to get your prospects to convince themselves to buy. And this is where he introduces the offer. So this offer was never available for sale in the past unless you paid $4,764 in yearly dues to be a member of my inner circle. This right here is now telling us that this is not just something he's pulled out. This is his first time putting this together. He's just kind of winging this. This is something that may or may not work for people. This is something that works. Now we have a little bit of social proof to say that this idea is very exclusive. The only way you could get this is by paying almost five grand. It's very exclusive. The only people who have ever seen this before are members of Frank's inner circle. But now you are going to be able to get that opportunity as well. You don't have to pay $4,700. You don't even have to pay $100. You can get instant access to this exclusive program for only $97. And before we continue here and we talk about some other little triggers that he's going to use to try and push traffic over to that call to action, let's just kind of assess where we're at right now. So at the top, we got a secret, two ways to get people to buy. First way isn't effective. That's probably what you're doing. Here's the better way to do it. Here's how I'm going to teach you how that idea works. I actually have a course that's going to show you how to do this and it's not going to cost you as much as other people have paid. It's a special deal just for you. It's exclusive. Nobody has seen this before. You don't have to pay full price. You don't even have to pay $100. You can get instant access to this for only $97. Now, how many times have you opened up an email, whether it's from whomever it might be, if it's an affiliate email or a sales email or a webinar invite or something, and as soon as you open up the email, you've got the link right up here at the top, right? Because a lot of people assume if I drop the link in loads of places, it increases the likelihood someone's going to click it and then they're going to be taken over to the sales page and or the, uh, you know, the re registration page and they're going to take action. Here's why you don't want to do that in a lot of situations, especially when it comes to a sales email. If you front load your email with your link, meaning you put the link very close to the top, what's going to happen? People are going to click on that link, which means the rest of your email has absolutely no purpose. So you want to use the top of your email to create that desire to create that interest and in some cases to actually agitate some kind of pain or discomfort with a problem that your customer is dealing with, right? So if you're in the weight loss niche, you want to maybe spend some time talking about, hey, you know, you know those clothes that you purchased before that you said you were going to fit into when you lost, you know, two dress sizes or two pant sizes and how they're just sitting in your closet and they have the tags on there? Well, now I want to show you how you can drop those two dress sizes in just two weeks with such and such a strategy. 
if we put the link in that hypothetical situation, if we put the link at the top here, it said, hey, let me show you how to drop two dress sizes. They're going to click on that and they're now going to the sales page or the registration page with the expectation just of those two sizes. But if we spend some time agitating that pain, creating that curiosity and getting them to a point where they themselves want to drop two dress sizes and we just happen to provide them with the link to help them do that, they're going onto your sales page or to your registration page with a completely different mindset where they see you as the person to help them get there and you've given them the idea that you are the one who's going to help them get there. So it's a completely different mindset for your subscriber when they click on that link. And hopefully that makes sense because that's really, really important. In, in the case of a sales email, you want to actually sell them before you give them the next step. And the next step is to click your link. If you stick the link at the top of your email, they're not going to read your email. They're going to click on the link and they're going to have a totally different mindset when they go over to that sales page. So. He's dropped in the link towards the bottom of the email. And as you can see on this first part of the email, there's only one link on here. That's it guys. And he's created a lot of desire, right? He said, Hey, we're going to convince our subscribers. We're going to convince our prospects that they themselves have their own idea that they want to buy our products. This is the offer to do it. He builds up the value and the proof to say that this is proven. It's been done before. People have paid this much money for it. It's exclusive. And now we're kind of at this point, we're kind of thinking just before we get down to the price here, the price reveal, we're kind of thinking, Hey, there's a lot of value here. It's obviously cost a lot of money in the past. This is probably going to cost me some money. So our defenses and our objections are going to be up here. And we're going to be thinking, hmm, you know what? This, depending on the price, I may or may not want to get this. And then when it comes down to the price reveal, and keep in mind, this just takes two seconds as you're reading through the email. You're going to go from 4,700. It's not even going to cost you 100 bucks. It's not even going to cost you 10% of the actual price that this should cost. It's actually going to cost you 97 bucks. Right away, people will go and click on this link immediately without even rest, reading the rest of the email because we've created so much desire at this point so far. But this is where we get into the close of the email. And this is really something that you want to include with every sales email that you ever put together. Because if you just drop this link and you said, okay, talk soon, you know, to the best of your success, JK Dowell, if I put that at the bottom of this email, people would click, sure, for sure. But what we want to do is we actually want to use some kind of a close and every sales email you ever write should include a close. And there's so many different types of closes you can put together. Uh, my two favorite ones I'll let you know right now are anything to do with scarcity or urgency, which we're going to talk about in a second because that's what Frank does here. Uh, and anytime you can use one simple sentence and this is the sentence, right? If you're taking notes, write this down. It's a simple if then statement. If you want to do this, then do this, right? If you want to accomplish X, then do Y. So if you stick at the bottom of your email before you sign off a very, very simple sentence that says, if you want to live the life of your dreams, then you need to understand how subconscious selling works, right? If you want to live the life of your dreams, then you've got to understand how this works. Click here to get started. Click here to watch this video. Click here to, you know, register for the webinar. A simple if then statement as a closing statement at the bottom of your email, very, very effective. If you want X, then do Y and then have your call to action or your link. Very, very effective, very, very simple to put together. Uh, I'll let you guys in on another really simple, but really effective closing sentence you can include at the bottom of any email. I call it the big question. And what you want to do with the big question is you want to actually ask your subscribers, your readers, a question at the bottom of the email. And it should be a big, big question related to what it is that they want to achieve. So you actually want to say something like, um, the big question you should be asking yourself is what you're going to do with those clothes in your closet that still have the tags on one year from now or six months from now. That time piece at the end is really important and you should tie it back into the product that you want to achieve. So in the weight loss niche, that's a closing sentence that I've used a few times. You know, the big question you should be asking yourself is what are you going to do with those clothes in the closet with the tags on it that you promised yourself you were going to fit into one day? Are you going to throw them out or are you actually going to fit into them? If you want to fit into them in the next uh, you know, 14 days or the next 30 days, click on this link, right? That is a really effective way to close, create that desire to bring people over to your sales page or your registration page or what the case may be. Now, Frank dials up the urgency and the scarcity here right towards the bottom of the email. This offer is only available for the first 100 people. So you better get a jump on it. Take a look at what you're learning. It'll call to action. Here's a tutorial on how subconscious selling works. It'll call to action. So, I want to talk about scarcity and urgency really quick because these terms are used interchangeably often, but they mean very, very different things. And you can use both of these really effectively, especially if you're doing any type of affiliate marketing, you've got a sales campaign you're putting together. Scarcity and urgency are massive. They're so important. 
So scarcity is when you can actually put a limit on the specific amount of product or the specific amount of opportunities that exist. So in this case, there's only 100 people can get this. That's it. It's not the price is going up tomorrow. It's not that, you know, uh, whatever. It's, it's, there's 100 opportunities are available. You want to be one of 100. And because people know that Frank Kern's email list is so massive, those 100 spots are going to be snapped up super quick. That's scarcity. Anytime that you can limit the amount of opportunities that are available to a specific number that if you don't act now, you're going to miss out, that's scarcity. Urgency, on the other hand, is where you have a time constraint. So like this is going to expire in one hour. You've got one hour left to grab this. Or there's a specific price, like the price is going to increase. You want people to act now because if they don't act now, they won't be able to get access to the opportunity later. So scarcity is a specific limit on the number of opportunities available. And urgency is about if you don't act now, you won't be able to get the same quality thing later. So time is going to run out. Uh, the price is going to increase. It's still going to be there, but you have to act now to get the best possible value. So urgency gets them to do it now because they're going to miss out later. Scarcity does the same thing, but just in a different way. And depending on your offer and what it is that you're selling, you should always introduce some kind of scarcity or urgency, particularly where it's really, really effective is towards the end of your sales campaign. And I talk an awful lot about in like my private coaching and stuff about campaigns, campaigns, campaigns for your email marketing. All this stuff that we've talked about, all this stuff in the email, I'm going to bring you through kind of a summary of, of this whole email and what we've just talked about in just a second here. All this comes down to putting together effective campaigns. JK, what? Yeah. So, mate, before you get into that, um, the sure. feedback is amazing. I know we we haven't got you for much longer, so I'll be quick. Um, sure. But my God, it's blowing my head off. And it's, let me know, guys, in the comments what you think of the training and any questions. And for Martina, she says she can't read the last two sentences around the link. So could we just read sure. them out to her so she can understand this, the last two links? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, so the final uh, final link here just says, uh, take a look at what you learn in subconscious selling. Just a very simple call to action. I didn't really want to spend too much time on that. Uh, and then there's a final PS or postscript. Here's a tutorial on how the whole subconscious selling method works. Um, the final PS here, one thing that's worth pointing out is that obviously every link in your email should go to the same destination. You never want to include links to different places in your emails. Sometimes I'll see emails from people that where they'll try and sell a product, but then as a final opportunity to try and get that click, they'll say, hey, don't forget to follow me on Instagram or don't forget to join my Facebook group or follow my page or what have you. Don't do that. Every link in your email should go to the same location you just want to phrase the selling point a little bit differently. So here's a tutorial on how the whole subconscious selling method works. That goes to the same sales page as this link that you see up here and this call to action link that you see up here. They all go to the sales page, which in this case was just a, a VSL, a video sales letter with a button underneath to go and pick it up. So he's just phrasing the, the actual language differently, but the link does go to the exact same place. So hopefully that kind of uh, sorts that out for you, Martina. If you need me to cover that again, just let me know. Perfect. Any other questions, Wayne? Uh, no, just loads of people saying how good the train is. So, um, great. awesome. Yeah, awesome. All right, perfect. So, yeah, what I wanted to, to kind of mention just before we do a recap of how all these little steps come together, and I think that's really going to tie this whole lesson together for you, is this idea of campaigns. Okay, you want to have a campaign for any product that you're trying to sell with your email marketing. And just to kind of give you guys a quick idea of what this looks like, the biggest mistake that I see with coaching students that I work with, with consulting clients I work with, with people who are members of my group and people who are members of my memberships, uh, is that when they want to sell a product, if it's an affiliate product, if it's their product, they go straight to the broadcast tab in their autoresponder and they write out their email and they hit broadcast and they hit send. And maybe sometimes that's it. That's all they do. Maybe some people will do a follow-up, you know, they'll resend the same email to people who didn't open, or maybe they'll get a little bit more advanced and they'll send an email to everyone who didn't click on the link and all that stuff is good. The more follow-ups you can do, the better. But what you want to do is you want to have a campaign designed around selling your product. And I'll give you a quick example before we do our recap here. I put together a broadcast for an affiliate product that I was promoting. I put together one broadcast email. I sent it out to my email list I, and it was a well-written email. It was a good one. Got a good subject line, good content. It was assembled really well. It was as effective as I believed I could put it together, sent it out. And I think I got 20 to 30 sales. Did a little follow-up later in the day. Everyone who didn't open it, sent it out to them again. And I think I got another 10 or 15 sales. I think it was just under 50 sales in total for that. 
a separate part of my list, a separate segment of my list, we put together a campaign where the product we were going to pitch was, uh, we decided we were going to pitch it on a Wednesday. So Monday, we sent out an email and we started talking about the actual objective of the product, right? So this, pro this product in this case talked about how to optimize your YouTube channel. And it talks about how to actually optimize your YouTube plans and how to do your video marketing correctly. So we, on Monday, we started talking about, we didn't include any sales emails, or sorry, we didn't include any sales links. We didn't include any links to anything really. We just talked about, hey, if you wanna optimize your channel, here's the benefit of that. Here's what that looks like. Here's the comparison of a channel that's optimized with a channel that's not optimized. You can see the videos on the channel that is optimized, the videos are ranking better, et cetera, et cetera. Tuesday did the same thing, talked about uh, other benefits and other advantages of optimizing your channel and how that all works. When Wednesday came around, we sent out a sales email that says, hey, guess what? Now you're able to implement all that we've just talked about this week about optimizing your channel, all the benefits you get from that. This course is one of the most effective ways that you're gonna see how to optimize your channel and how to optimize your video content on YouTube. Thursday after that, we sent the follow-up with a few more different angles, a few more different hooks that talked about the benefits of optimizing your channel. Then we started to introduce a few bonuses for that product. And then on the Friday after that, sorry, the, the next day after that, which was the Friday, we talked about, hey, the bonuses that we mentioned that's going to be coming down on Saturday, here's what you're going to miss out on. The price is going to go up for this product. We're going to take away these bonuses. So we created that urgency and that scarcity around the fact that, hey, in a certain amount of time, the bonuses we put together for you are going to be removed. And there were really valuable bonuses. We talked about video templates. We talked about different ways that you can structure the intro of your video to get people to keep watching. And then on Saturday, we actually did the close, simple, quick little email. And every day we did follow-ups to people who did not open our emails. Now that broadcast that we sent on the day the product came out, the day the product launched, sent it out to our list. And I think we, it was just under 50 sales that I mentioned. The other segment of the list where we actually optimized a full sales campaign over those five days, we did over 200 sales from that campaign. So we quadrupled the amount of sales that we made by putting together a campaign around this product. And that is ultimately what email marketing is all about. It's not just about your emails and how you use them and how you write them. It's about how you actually build up that anticipation and that desire. And that's what you want to do with your emails. So your campaign creates desire and interest and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a want to learn more. Your email also has to do the same thing. You've got to create that desire. You've got to activate those triggers. You've got to create interest and curiosity and excitement and enthusiasm because that's what's going to get people to click. So that's exactly what Frank Kern does. It's like a little mini campaign inside of his email. It starts off with that subject line. Don't ever do this. Fear driven, curiosity driven. I got to know what I shouldn't be doing. What is it that I am doing potentially that I should never do? Gets you to open the email. I've got a secret for you. Okay, what's the secret? Does it have something to do with what I shouldn't be doing? Gets you to read the next sentence. There's only two ways to get people to buy from you. The first way is probably what you're doing. Is this you? Are you doing any of these things right here? Are you spending a lot of time trying to convince people that your idea is the right one? That's not very effective. It's a lot of work. It's not going to work for you. This is where most of us start out when we're learning how to sell. You don't want to be, uh, be a beginner. You want to do this effectively. So the second way is the better way. And the second way is where you get your prospects to convince themselves to buy instead of forcing them to believe in your idea. You make it their idea. This makes them more willing to act because it's their own idea. It doesn't matter how bad the idea it is. If it's your idea, you are going to defend it to the death. And if their idea is to buy your product or to solve that problem with your product, that's a hugely advantageous position for you to be in. Well, guess what? Now you can do it. Now I'm going to show you how to do it because I created a program called Subconscious Selling. It shows you how to get these internal triggers to fire in the minds of your prospects and buy your stuff. Now, has anyone ever heard of this program before? Subconscious Selling, have you heard of it before? Well, guess what? You could only get it before if you're a member of Frank's Inner Circle and you paid almost $5,000. So this was exclusive. No one has seen this before. I have the opportunity potentially to get this, but how much is this going to cost? My risk is potentially up here. I don't want to spend $5,000 or $2,000 on learning this. I don't have to pay that much. I don't even have to pay a hundred bucks. I can get instant access to the entire program right now for $97. Now, automatically, I want to go click that link because I want to find out what that is. But just for that extra little push, it's only available for the first hundred people. So now everyone's clicking all the time because they want to go get this. They want to be one of the first hundred people. Take a look at what you're going to learn. And by the way, here's a quick tutorial to learn the whole subconscious selling and how it works, which goes directly over to the sales page. And that is how you put together an email that's less than one paragraph, only 257 words, but creates curiosity, desire, 
fear. It sets an expectation for what your customers are going to learn and how they're going to learn it. And it positions your product as the best option to learn how to sell. Um, and positions this product as the best way to teach your prospects to convince themselves to buy your product. And that is just one email um, of a whole bunch that I've recently put together and a whole bunch of lessons, uh, which I think Wayne is hopefully going to spend a little bit of time talking to you guys about. But uh, that is basically how we do email marketing effectively. We create every sentence around one specific objective, and that's creating desire and expectation and excitement. Amazing. Um, did you want to share your camera again, mate? And I'll bring you back on. Guys, um, I really want to know what you thought of that and if you've got any questions. I know JK's got a shoot, but I'm going to give you... Um, well, let me uh, just change the camera around. I know you've got a shoot, mate. It was a lot. <laughs> Answered. Um, yeah, so let us know uh, in the questions below. Let me just swap over. Um, guys, if, you, if you've come onto this live and you've thought you didn't really know what to expect, I'm sure you'll agree that was amazing training. Uh, you can watch the recording, um, but what I'm fabulous, yeah, it was great info. Amazing stuff. Awesome. Um, so you've done a fan. Love the tips and not having a link. Yeah, I can't even keep up with the comments, mate. So um, awesome. Hopefully, That's hopefully now, guys, you can start to see where you may have gone wrong with email. Okay, you can see how these top emailers put together their emails. Take so many notes. Uh, the value is amazing. Um, awesome. Hasnain, I'll cover that in a minute. Um, I will cover that in a minute. Love seeing the psychology behind it. This is the thing, guys, okay? A lot of people, when they come into email or anything, selling online, uh, they don't realize the psychology behind it. What JK has just given you there is the psychology behind Frank Kern's email. Okay, this is exactly what you're giving it. Um, and it is absolutely insane to see how you broke that down, mate. I absolutely loved it. Absolutely awesome. loved it. Awesome. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad the guys are getting a lot of value out of it. Um, have you got any questions? So I know JK's got a go. And then I'm going to show you something pretty special. This was knocked out of the park. Um, yes, that's a good... Jim's got a very good question there. We talked about this actually before we went live, mate. Um, I'm just keeping up with them. Uh, so a proper campaign should cover a week's time frame. We talked about this beforehand. Um, and what... I mean, I'll let you answer this, JK. I'll let you answer this. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, look, I don't want to limit... Uh, the expectations of a campaign that it should last a week or it shouldn't last a week. Um, you know, if I want to sell a $10,000 product and I got to send people over to a webinar for that product, I'm probably going to spend more than a week on building up that expectation. I could spend a month on educating people on the main problem that that product is going to solve. That's really what it comes back down to. So you want your sales campaign to be reflective of number one, the price of the actual product that eventually you're going to bring them to purchase. Uh, but you also want to make sure that you spend enough time educating them on the problem because sometimes ultimately the product that you're going to get them to purchase or the product that you want them to purchase is a solution to a problem, right? Every product is designed to solve some kind of problem. So depending on how complicated that problem is, you may need to spend more time in that kind of what I would consider the pre-launch phase of your campaign, where you're educating, you're getting them to be aware of that problem, and you're really agitating that pain because that's ultimately what makes people want to purchase. You tell them what the problem is because sometimes people don't know that they have a problem, right? I'm willing to bet that some people might have come onto this um, this this training and not really been aware that email marketing is something that's all about psychology and understanding how people work. And now they're kind of aware, like, oh, that's something that I need to like spend a bit more time learning about. So you need sometimes to spend some time educating people on the problem that they might have, that they might not even know that they have. And then you also want to spend an appropriate amount of time agitating the problem to basically tell people, here's what could end up happening if this problem goes unchecked, right? It's kind of like a lump, right? If you you identify, hey, look, you've got a lump on you. Maybe you should get that checked. And some people are like, nah, I'm not going to check that out. 
and then they leave it and they leave it and it gets more agitated and it gets worse and worse and worse until eventually they have to go to a doctor because they have to go get this inspected. You kind of want your email marketing not necessarily to be that aggressive, but you certainly want it to uh, have the similar idea. You want to educate them that there is a problem and you want to say, if this goes unchecked and you don't address this, this potentially could have some serious implications, like you're leaving thousands of dollars on the table. You're not uh, going, you know, your health can potentially be at risk if you're in like the weight loss or diabetes niche or something like that. You really want to educate them on that problem and how bad it could be. And then when that pain or that discomfort becomes almost unbearable, where they are ready to start looking for a solution, that is when your sales campaign starts. Because you're then going to say, hey, this is the most effective way to solve this problem right now. And it's only going to cost you $17 or $27 or, you know, depending on if you're trying to get them to a webinar or what have you, this guy's going to explain to you how to solve this problem, et cetera, et cetera. That is really what your sales campaign to be. So it doesn't have to be a week. It doesn't have to be a month. Um, it all just comes down to what the problem is, what the price of the product is, and you want to build your campaign, basically reverse engineering it from there. Awesome. One more question, JK, then we better let you go, mate. So, great question from Ida. Um, having, a having a scarcity for the quantity on the email, will it put people off clicking the link if they're reading the email a few days later? Great question. Um, but it doesn't actually affect that because people, if, if they're reading over the email, they're still going to have the desire to want to solve that problem. They're still going to have the desire to want, in this case, to learn more about subconscious selling. So people will click the link, but they might have a different mindset when they click on that link. They might be clicking the link thinking, oh, I probably missed it. In which case, if it is still available, you're actually going to get that sale quicker than someone who might have opened this email the very moment that it was delivered. Because the very moment it was delivered, they're kind of thinking, well, I can see from the timestamp of when this was sent, he's literally just sent this out. So it's probably available. Maybe they might take some time to think about it. But the person who clicks the link a few days later, they're probably going to click it hoping that it's available. And that mindset is very, very different. That's a very powerful thing where you're actually setting up your subscriber in that situation to have the mindset that I really hope I can get this. Imagine how powerful that is, guys. If you could get people to click on your link, to go to your sales page, and their mindset is, I hope I can still buy this. That's why scarcity and urgency are so important because they certainly work at the moment, but also in the future, uh, when people come maybe a few days later to click on that, you've created a different type of mindset when they click on that link. Now, whether or not the product is available, that's obviously going to depend on the particular product that you're selling. And maybe you want to have a wait list where you can follow up with people and maybe offer a down sell of something else. But that's going to depend on your funnel at that point. Yeah. And that's why it, that's a good reason to use numbers rather than dates as well uh, with email yeah. as well. Because if you use the date, obviously, if something's time dependent, you have to use a date. Um, but it's often why people use numbers instead of dates. Correct. Yeah. Um, awesome. So, JK, um, thanks very much, mate. Um, I don't want to kind of, I don't want you to miss your appointment. I'm really wary of the time. I absolutely love that. Um, and I, hopefully, what I'm hoping, guys, that you guys got for this, um, that you can see how implementing this stuff can improve your opens, improve your clicks, get more relevant clicks, and make tons of sales you can imagine all the sales you have been missing out on now with your emails by not understanding this stuff okay and i'm going to give you something pretty special in a minute which means you can explode your sales and commissions that you've possibly been missing out on okay um so i'm gonna jake i'm gonna let you go mate um and i loved it um guys give uh jk a big fat thanks in the comments below um and if let me ask you a question, guys. Would you like more training from JK? I'm going to show you how to get it. Okay, if you want more training from JK, I'm going to show you how you can get that uh, right now because I absolutely loved it. Let me know in the comments below. Brilliant. JK, thanks very much for that, mate. There's loads of comments coming through. The people absolutely awesome. loved it. Awesome. And I'm going to speak to you later on. Yeah, sounds good, man. Sounds good. And I'm also a member of the group, too. So if you guys have questions later on, maybe if you're watching this on the replay, you can tag me in the comments, and I'll definitely jump in and answer any questions right there in the group, too. So Fantastic. have yourselves a great weekend, guys. I got to go to my godson's uh, birthday and then deal with a couple of other things. But have yourselves a great day, and thank you so much for this. Uh, and I'm glad you guys found a lot of value in here, too. Awesome. Thanks, mate. That was awesome. All right. Talk to you. So, guys, that was fantastic. But seriously, how many people would love to be trained? Um alongside other marketers by JK. How would you like to see exactly um, how other marketers structure their emails and get that kind of training? Um, give me a yes below if that is you.
because I'm going to show you exactly how to get access to it right now. Okay, just imagine, I want you to imagine, you should be able to see from that training how you missed out on all of those sales that you could have potentially had, all of the opens, all of the clicks, and so much more. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I want you to comment training below, okay, and I'm going to pass you the link so that you can see how JK, comment training, um, how you can see how JK reverse engineered Okay, reverse engineered six of the top email marketers um, and ripped them to part, ripped them to bits, much like this one, in more depth so you can understand it. Uh, you'll get the video training. Okay, there's actually 24 lessons. You'll get the video training. There's loads of yeses down below. My team will get to you um, if you're training all yeses, guys, in the below, and I'll put the link here. Okay. You're now going to see me purchase this, guys. Okay, you're going to see me purchase this. Um, the link is just above me. Okay, just above me here as well. Uh, and you're now going to see me share my screen. Uh, it was fantastic. Um, I, I've never actually seen email training like that before. So you can imagine what that's going to be. Let me flip to my screen. That link that my team will get to you uh, will actually take you to this page. Okay, and here's what you're going to get, guys. 24 lessons. Okay, 24 lessons. Um, yeah, my team will get you the link. 24 lessons um, from the top email marketers, much like you saw then. Remember, each marketer uses different techniques. So we saw Frank Kearns where he went through the subject, the trigger, uh, the hook, set the expectations, is this you, the offer, the exclusive, the CTA, the scarcity, the CTA, the CTA. Uh, there's many different um, what methods you can employ, okay? And you can see the differences it's going to make, guys. You can actually physically see the differences it's going to make to your sales, your commissions, your opens, and your clicks, okay? Um, along with video training, you're actually going to get the notated copy of each email, so you can have it on your desk as you write your own emails. You can have all these on your desk whilst you write each email. It's insane what you can do with it. Okay, and that's what um, I advise my team to do. Okay, so once you click, uh, you'll learn tons. You can see what you're going to learn. This is going for a grand total of 15 whole dollars. Okay, you can see there, 15 whole dollars. So it's an absolutely new brainer to get this, guys. Okay, absolute new brainer to get this for 15 dollars. Um, click check out. Okay, you need to accept the terms. And then that product is yours. Now, I'm going to take you through some other stuff. Okay, um, oh, don't want to charge the MasterCard. We want to pay with a wallet. Okay. Um, this is absolutely stonking what he's offering now. So, now what you get on the next page, guys, is email marks and training. Okay, fifteen dollars today. This is a well, you can you can read through this page, guys. Okay, I'm going to show you what he's going to get, uh, what he's going to do for me as well. Okay, because I love this guy's email. In fact, he's going to do this for you, you guys. Okay, and you can see this is uh, you join inbox for fifteen dollars training. You get tons of stuff. Uh, you get absolutely tons. So um, you can read through this page, guys. Okay, you can read through everything that you get. Now, the good thing here, Phil Bowerman, this is a guy I respect highly. He was actually at my event in December. Okay, fantastic marketer. Kevin Fahey, you know, what he, if you've been in this group for a while, you know what the products he does, fantastic. And Adam Payne. He's been in the group as well doing training. So you know these guys are top internet marketers. You know these are real testimonials. Okay, so you can join this as well. Um, or you can scroll to the bottom and click no thanks if you don't want it. Okay, now I advise everyone get started with this. Uh, it's normally the front end there is $15. It goes up to 47 Okay, so you must grab this today. You must grab this before the price goes up. It goes up Monday. So you've got to grab it now to get that price, okay? So you can join this as well. I'm going to join it, okay? Uh, and he lets you pay a MasterCard. So I don't know why it does that. So I'll click now. I'll join that a bit later. 
Okay, keep letting me know if you want the link, guys. My team is getting to you. Oh, you got a down sell there, so you could you could get that. No brainer, no brainer. But I'm going to show you. Um, okay, this offer uh, you can grab this if you want. Okay, this isn't necessarily pertaining to email marketing. This one, but you can have a look through this offer. It is fantastic. But I'm going to show you the thing that I'm getting. Okay, I want to show you the thing that guys you need to get. Okay, this is it. All right, this is the product I'm now going to purchase for OLSP. He is going to write all of our emails for us. Okay, and again, we'll ta tailor made to deliver opens, engagement, click, and sales. You can see the techniques he's got, you can see the skills he's got, guys. Absolutely insane what I know he will do for us. Okay, again, the link is above, guys, what he will do uh, for OLSP. So I'm going to click yes and get this campaign. As long as I can pay for my wallet, yeah. So you can see 297. Okay, that's what I'm now going to pay for an entire sequences, sequence of email marketing. Of, uh, oh, got to click the thing. So you can see I'll pay for this. Now, a bonus for anyone that joins us that purchases this. Okay, you can then access your purchase um, by the XX purchase link. Anyone that purchases this um I'm, i've asked his team i'll scroll go back to me uh, if you haven't got the link guys let me know below if you are at all serious about email marketing you need to buy this it's a new brainer okay an absolute new brainer you can see what he went through uh, you get 24 reports like like that and in more depth okay he had to kind of get away um so you'll get them in more depth imagine what that's going to do for your email marketing Make sure you ask for the link and you purchase that front end. Anyone that purchases the front end, okay, what I've asked him to do um, for my OLSP uh, follow-ups, the OLSP warm-ups, the OLSP mails, okay, it's an entire sequence, is record a video on the way he thinks or his team thinks, whoever does it, so we, you, I can give it to you guys and you can write your own OLSP emails, okay? Um, so the offer there is absolutely fantastic, guys. Um, I want you, I, like, this is the best email train I've seen, full stop, I'm writing emails, okay, so I, I want people to buy this, you can see how excited I was about getting this training, um, and again, I've not seen anything like, it. I know this is going to prove improve our opens, I know it's going to improve our clicks for OLSP, um, it's going to improve our sales, imagine what that can do for you guys, okay, and um, if you've got any questions, uh, let me know as well, because obviously I want to make sure everyone jumps on this. For $15, um, for all that information, okay, I'm going to go through it again. Let me go through it again. Got to find the links, I lost it. I'm going to go through it again for you guys so you can see. Okay, when you when it when you click the link, it will go to this, and it will go to here. Okay, so this is fifteen dollars. It goes up to forty-seven. This is worth way more than forty-seven dollars, guys. So that lesson you then got. Okay, you're going to get twenty-four of those by the end of that. These twenty-four lessons. Okay, that you can also print out on the um, on the set on the on your desk in front of you. You can print them out, put them on the desk for when you write emails. Okay. You can watch the video lessons as well, the 24 video lessons. So you can stop wondering how these guys, the names you can see, they can stop wondering how they're able to be at the top of the game and write emails like they do. Okay, that is worth its weight in gold. And um, you get a, uh, a trainer module um, on how to grow your list. Uh, you get a case study, um, and it'll show you exactly how applying these methods to his own email generated $3,900. Um, and how use an email to grow his business from zero to 100 monthly pound subscribers. Okay, so you'll see these emails in action, guys. You will see these emails in action. Uh, you're going to learn. I mean, you can see, I wanted to get JK on a live because you can see the insane knowledge he's got. If this live didn't make sense, okay, purchase this and go through the videos. All right, go through what he's got to give. Uh, I'll probably also go through that. I've got access, actually, to the inbox and membership area. 
So I'll show you what's inside that as well. In fact, I have got access to the front end. So I can show you the members area uh, to the hive, as he's called it. So I'm going to tell you what you get again for that $15, guys. You get the 24 sales emails from the top internet marks all broken down. You can see how they've written their emails. What um, strategies he has applied to um, really make people want to buy. Um, you get eight emails from Anit Singal and his seven affiliate, seven affiliate, seven figure affiliate campaign. Okay, so this campaign done seven figures for this marketer, and you're going to see how and why that worked. Okay, think about that. Really think about how that's going to improve your sales on your email marketing. So who, like, I, you can really see where you've gone wrong historically. Your past emails because of this. You're going to get video breakdown for every single e email. You're going to get that print out a new tated copy of each print out, so you can really understand and have on your desk when you're writing emails. You can literally pick one out and think, right, well, I want to write an email similar to this, and you can write it. Um, an editable text copy of each email. So you can literally get the copy of the email and adjust it to your own style. Uh, you're going to get additional training, tons of additional training as well, guys, um, including this this case study particularly, how he used a, a tiny list to make over $2,400 in commissions. Okay, a tiny list. Uh, and when you get your email marked and right, this is exactly what it can do, guys. Exactly what it can do. Awesome. Any questions, guys, or anything? I, I am still answering questions and things, so stick them below. Um, $47, but that's once or so. If you get it now for $15, okay? Uh, you do get a money-back guarantee there. No one's going to want their money back on this. You can see exactly what type of training, exactly what type of person he is. He wants to give tons of value. Um, I'm going to be doing more stuff with him because I think that training was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, again, you can see the link above me. Traffic domination dot rocks slash hive. Um, if you go through and purchase the other parts, again, you all get access to the video of him creating the emails for OLSP. Okay, you all get access to that. Uh, but you can also get him to um, write emails for any product. Okay, on, on the final OTU. Now, I think... JK deserves to get uh, number one on Warrior Plus for this because it is such a fantastic product compared with the other ones on there at the minute. So I really want to help him get to number one and realise what he's how good what he put has put together is. Okay, I really want to. Um, fourteen dollars ninety five, guys. That is all it will cost. Okay, and again, let's click back and see if I can get back to it. Uh, yes, I can. Um, the big one. Okay, the beauty of this 297 offer, guys, is he will send cold traffic to it before he delivers it to you. So by the time you get this email sequence that he's going to write, it's at least 10 custom written emails. Uh, at least 10, he will write what makes sense, okay, to the offer. Um, he'll write the whole campaign for you. Um, and he will test it with cold traffic. So he will know it gets high opens, it generates sales, it gets high clicks. Okay, for any offer that you're on at the minute, guys, whatever you're promoting, whatever offer you're promoting, this is possibly the best written email sequence you're going to be able to purchase. Okay, he has also got um, a down sell, I believe, um, where you can get it for one nine seven. It doesn't come with some of the products that you can't that uh, that you get in the two nine seven. Okay. So if you can't afford the 297, you can possibly afford the 197, okay? Um, and you get access to one of his products to be able to promote it if you want to promote it, okay? If you want to promote one of his products, you need to get the email sequence written for it. It's an absolute no-brainer, guys. Um, let's see any questions. Any questions from anyone, stick them in the comments below, guys. I want to make sure 
Um, if you haven't got a PayPal, um, VIP again. This isn't. If this was my product, I'd give loads of bonuses. Um, so there's nothing I can do. I'd love to do it. I might bring in him in some. See if he can come in for some bonus training for us, because um, I love his style. I love the way he breaks down these emails. I love the way I know it's going to improve everything for everyone. Uh, sequence depends on the quality of your list. No, because a well-written email, you can see the difference it makes. Okay, This will help extract the quality from your list, guys. Okay, If you've got a list that maybe you don't think is the best quality, uh, this helps extract the quality from your list. It creates, you can see that um, you'll get more people opening. You'll hook people into read, reading your email. Um, you can see how the setup actually gets them through to your call, click, uh, call to action. And creating the scarcity as well, so it's absolutely going to help everyone. Uh, there's new PayPal payment, um, probably just uses Stripe. Uh, I guess let me see if I can get on there. Um, he probably only uses Stripe. If you, I wonder how we can do that. We'll find a way uh, around it, but use your card, guys. Like, use your card. I don't know why he doesn't accept PayPal, but use your card, it's $15. Okay. Um, I'd also consider, guys, you uh, upgrading to his monthly or his. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, his monthly coaching, okay. Again, you get coaching um, from this guy. I mean, you can see, you can read through all that. Uh, read the pages, guys, to see what you get. Um, from from everything, it's absolutely insane. Um, it's full email marks and training. Okay, um, watch this video. Okay, it's twenty minutes, but I'm guessing he's just gonna make you wanna buy it when you watch it because he is that good. Just imagine that, guys. People reading your emails and being able to command more sales and more clicks from emails. Um. And it shows, guys, okay, if, let, let's ask a question. I want to ask a question to people. Um, if you have already bought this, I know, like, JK is well-known and respected in the industry. If you've already bought this before, let me know what you think of the product below, okay, and the training, because I know what that'll be like. I know it will blow your socks off and change the way you mar email marked it. Let's face it, guys, if you're in this group, you've got to love email marketing, like, and... I don't generally cover email marketing. Oh, I cover email marketing all the time, but I don't generally cover how to write because I use my own style. Okay, I know how to write in my own style. I'm going to change after this training. So if you do email marketing, you absolutely need to purchase this product. It's a no-brainer. Uh, have we got any questions or anything, guys? Let's have a look. Tony Grant, how are you, mate? Find me the link. Um, just make sure um, there's actually two lives, so I'll get the link. Yeah, it's weird how Facebook does this. Um, if my team can watch it, there's actually two posts. Uh, Tony Grant, I'm now going to fire you the link, mate. I want to make sure everyone's got the link. There you go. Weird how Facebook does this. It splits it into two. Um, but I want to make it an absolute no-brainer, guys, uh, to join this. I normally, you know, I normally want to give big bonuses, but with this, it's insane. The bonus of just if you purchase the front end, I'll give you the video recording of him going through doing our OLSP um, email, so you can see the thought pattern. Uh, behind the way he does emails. Uh, this is the best email writing train you're ever going to get. Uh, yet, uh, I can take you through once more how to get it. I'm just making sure everyone's got a link. Um, so many comments. So many comments. That I can't even filter through them. That's insane. 
Um, again, I do not want you to miss out on this, guys. Um, literally do not want you to miss out on this. The price goes up Monday to $47. Uh, the price of this goes up to... I've got it written down somewhere. Um, $47 a month for him, for uh, his weekly. And the price for the email writing goes up to 497 per month. Okay? So and that's Monday. So you've literally got today... Uh, tomorrow and Monday to purchase it for the price on everything goes up. I know it's um pretty bonkers. Um, but when I saw this, okay, we were gonna promote, uh, we were gonna do some training on other things. But when I saw this and realised the price was gonna end Monday, I thought I've got to start jumping on this now. I've got a give this to you guys before the price goes up because it's an absolute steal. Um, and I wanted to show you exactly what the training was like. I wanted to, you know, so you can see how good this is. Just checking if there's any more. I've lost my mobile. Any more questions or anything from anyone? I will go through it again, don't worry. Uh, link, mid... There's the link, mate. Uh, the link uh, as well, guys, if uh, if we don't get it to you, is trafficdomination.rocks slash hive. Okay, the product name is called Hive. Um, which you can see just above me here. And afterwards, if you watch the training, I will also stick that in the description as well. So it's in the description. Uh, so no one misses out on this um, on this opportunity to get this. Because it is a massive opportunity, guys. All the prices go up. They will go up. Um, they will definitely go up. So you want to jump on this straight away. I'm going to ask you a question, guys. Uh, a simple question, okay? I'm going to ask you a simple little question. If you are in email marketing, which should be everyone in this group, okay? Everybody in this group. Um, so, I missed that question from... That was a good question. Cheryl, is the price really going up or is it part of the subconscious selling? Okay, the price will go up. I will guarantee you that. A good marketer who's well-respected in the industry will put the price up. Without a date, we'll put the price up. But it's also part of the subconscious selling, <laughs> okay? Um, because he will be able to sell at that price. Um, all of the products are worth more. All other products are worth more, but the prices will go up. So you need to jump in now to get it at that price. And for $15, I think you'll be absolutely bonkers to miss out on it for $15. Seriously. Um you know, people come in, they buy, they spend $80 on traffic, or they spend $500, $1,000 on traffic, and the emails aren't right, okay? Maybe you've used our free ones, but this will, you know, if you've got a list already, you've built a list already, this will help you make more sales. It will help you make more commissions. It will help you make more opens and more clicks for $15, okay? Now, I talk a lot about being your own traffic source, okay? Now, imagine being able to double your amount of clicks, you're going to double the amount of sales. And those clicks are more likely to buy. Okay, Obviously, I can't say you are going to make millions uh, or you're definitely going to make more money if you've got a list of 10 people. It's probably not going to have a big effect. But if you've got a list of 100 people and you're getting five clicks at the minute, um, that five clicks could turn into 10. You could double the amount of clicks and they're more likely to sell um, or buy, buy commissions. Awesome. Can't wait to start implementing this. Exactly, Jeremy. Um, I think this is game changing for email marketers, especially those in this group. We don't. I cover some email marketing, uh, some email writing, okay. Um, but the way I've kind of learned is, I know I kind of know about the hooks, the triggers, and everything else. I just apply them in my own order. I'm going to print out. In fact, you'll see me print these out probably tomorrow. I'm going to print them out um, and leave them on my desk. In fact, my team are watching this. My team are going to go through this product as well. Because you can never learn enough about email marketing. And don't forget about that email sequence. Okay, because 
Um, if you've got a product you want to promote, you can literally pay the money. He'll do it for you. He'll deliver it to you, and you'll know it's the best it's going to be. You know that it's going to um, be the best it could possibly be for sales, oops, clicks, and you can just keep on driving the traffic to it. Just going to make sure we've got all the comments out. Um, anyone else with any questions, guys? There's the link. Awesome. Now, let me ask, guys. Um, if you've got an email list, I want to ask an honest question. I want to see honest answers. If you have got an email list, um, why have you not purchased this? Okay? Because for me, it's an absolute um, no-brainer. Uh, you've seen I've purchased... The 297, so he can write our OLSP emails. We haven't got any at the minute. Uh, you guys are going to be using these if you promote OLSP. You're going to get recordings so you can see and write your own as well. Okay, so anyone that purchases uh, even the $15 will get access to that to be able to write a sequence for your list. Okay, that will include a warm up, probably a two, three day warm up, so people get excited, like what we said. Okay, and um, then the actual um, content with the CTAs and everything to warm down. That's normally how it is. Uh, Downsell that doesn't cover any offer, only JK's products. They're all JK's products, yeah. I don't know what you mean by that, has name. Not quite sure what you mean. Um, and guys, I'm going to say no thanks. I've already bought this. No, I haven't. Um, in, this is fantastic, okay? Click here to complete enrollment in Inboxer. Uh, you get lead capture training. This is the after you've purchased the $15 if you want to get on it. Um, email assembly, traffic training, uh, mailing strategies, okay? Um, four weeks of live training, okay? So to make your emails even better. Yeah. Awesome. Let me know any questions, guys. I am going to um, make sure there's no more questions. And, guys, let me know. Um, don't sell that yet. Okay, let me just see that his name. Let me just click no thanks. Oh, okay. The down sell, the 197, doesn't cover any offer other than JK. So you want the 297. If you are, um, if you want the emails, Rick, you need to go for the 297, okay? You need to go for the 297, this one. Um, this is a custom campaign. I'll give you an idea. I'll give you an idea um, how much normal copy cost, okay? The cheapest you'll get a page like this written for, uh, well, a bit bigger than that, is $500, there you go, can't see your screen. The cheapest you'll get a, a page cop, a copy written for is $500. They go all the way up to $10,000. Emails for 10 plus emails written with this level at 297 is super cheap. So if you're promoting a main offer, you've got something you love promoting, um, you need to get this to, to know you're having the maximum effect. Okay, Every email you send, you know you're having the maximum effect. Um, and I'll see anyone that buys the 297, I will see if we can get him, hit him in for additional training. Um, because I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, I want to drive... Uh, like You can see what he's like. This guy's fantastic. Um, JK is fa absolutely fantastic. I want to drive him to number one. I want to drive him, see if we can drive him to number one on Warrior Plus. That's my kind of goal because I want to do more stuff with him, guys. I think he's absolutely brilliant. Um, and I want to do more stuff with him. Okay, I'm going to sit here for a few more minutes, guys. Uh, I'll run through the funnel again in case what anyone missed it because someone said missed my screen. Uh, any questions or anything before we go through the funnel again? I want to make sure. Um, any questions about the training? Okay. 
Uh, the thing is, guys, as well, this isn't just the way to write an email. This can be the way to, way to write sales pages. This is the way you a I actually do lives a lot of the time. Okay, uh, this is the way you sell. Okay, just because it's email just doesn't mean it's just email. It's to do with a lot of things in general. It teaches you a hell of a, hell of a lot of different stuff. Uh, you'll see me. So you'll see me over the next um, two, three days until it closes because obviously when the price goes up, um, it's a bit more expensive. It's still worth it. But you'll see me promoting this to Monday. You get those type of emails as well. So when he talked about signals, you see I build up to things. I promote while they're on and then I kind of cool down. You get those type of emails. Um, a lot of people in Warrior Plus especially will just fire off emails for each product that comes along. I don't tend to do that. When there's a product like this that's fantastic, I want to build up to it. I want people to know what they're getting. I know I want people to know the quality they're getting as well. Okay, I'll take you through uh, the funnel once more, guys. So I've got people asking. Just need to find a flip between too many things. Okay, so click the link that you've been given. Okay, if you click the link that you've been given or is above the top of the screen here, and click yes, I want to join the hive. Again, you get 24 lessons. Okay, 24 lessons across six different email marketers and understand how they're able to drive sales like they do. Okay, absolutely massive to be able to do that. And you get the extra trainer module. Um, you get the case studies. Absolutely fantastic case studies. Uh, I w uh, you need to buy it just for this, guys. Just for this. Okay, you can see you print them out as well, the actual emails, and you can see the scribbles across them as he dissects them. Um, you'll get everything you'll learn, and you get the guarantee. Okay, no one's going to go in for that guarantee. Basically, he's saying if you don't like it, you get your money back. I don't normally promote on a guarantee, but I know no one will want that guarantee. I know literally no one here will want that guarantee because it's that massive. Um, I haven't got to buy it again, have I? I think I might have to. I want to drive him to. I want him to be number one because that's what I think of this product. Number five at the minute. Oh, here we go. After you've purchased that, uh, you again get um, access to the hive or Inboxer rather, and you've bought the Hive, you get access to Inboxer. Um, this is a membership, okay? So you get four weekly live email marketing boot camp. Um, and you get lead capture training, traffic training, email assembly, so you'll be, see him dissect more emails, mailing strategies. This is massive, okay? This is massive. And if you're before the countdown ends, you get four weeks of live training with him. All right? Um, and this is for a grand total of $15. Okay, read through this, guys, because I think everyone will want to be part of this um, membership when they get it. Uh, absolutely massive sales page. So start today for $15. It is $30 a month after that, guys. So you can cancel after your first month. But again, from what he's taught us today, I don't think anyone will want to cancel. Um, so you get five funnel maps as well the perfect lead magnet design so you get to see another another marketer's input on this stuff guys okay and it's only $15 this goes up to 47 Monday okay so buy if you plan on buying this I'd get it now um, but you definitely need to get it for Monday obviously I've already got that Uh, then you get um, eight pages that all successful online internet marketers have mastered. This isn't necessary to have email, but it's the pages you need to create. Okay, um, eight essentials. So conversion boost and lead something squeeze page template, um, high engagement thank you template, three step bridge page template. 
Black Ops Formula Sales Page Template. Uh, trust Building Credit Card Process and Order Page. For those that process or credit cards, I've got Click Funnels and Process um, Credit Cards, for example. Um, upsell Page Template. Final Chance tem Template. Um, and One Page Advertorial, which is brilliant for other types of marketing. Uh, you get all of those uh, for $47. You get all those templates for $47. And again, uh, the 297 uh, to write your, for him to have write your email marketing sequence. Uh, okay, the inbox is a good deal and the in email campaign. Exactly, it's a, it's a really good deal. When you know um, the other, the price of other people's copy and things. Just got the hive well. Exactly, Brian. It is. In fact, I have got access to it. I'll show you guys around it um, quickly because it is amazing. Uh, right, let me just find. I'll show you inside the hive that you get $15, guys, so you can see that it's absolutely bonkers. Just got to find the... I have got access. <laughs> I've just bought it. There we go. So I'll show you the actual... Um, show you inside the hive well, actually this is inboxer okay so I'll show you that uh, and I'll show you the hive so I can show you inbox inboxer and the hive guys I'll give you a quick tour so you can see how good these products are okay this is the front end save those so I'll use them later and you can see each marketer, how he's broken down all of their emails, all of their swipes, their templates, the videos. Okay, Russell Bronson. We all know who Russell Bronson is. Um, and he's got bonus how to grow your list. So we've got some bonus training in there. Okay, and it tells you a bit about the market. Obviously, I think everyone will know who Frank Kern is. Um, and you can get started on this right straight away, guys. Okay. This, if you want, is on the link above. That's the Hive. This is the Hive. Okay. Absolutely amazing product he's put together there. And this is Inboxer, which is the $15 offer. Show you access to Inboxer. As long as I've got the right logins, there we go. Okay, look at this beast, guys. Okay, you get this for $15. Obviously, you get the, the live train as well. Uh, this is what you get for... The Hive, okay. Um, I actually highly recommend people get this. Autosponder Tactics. Um, your attraction offer, funnel, nurture sequence, fantastic. Okay, the nurture sequence. This is what you need when you want to sell a product. Growing your leads, pseudo ads. I'm going to actually see who's got in there. Um, obviously, we test your, um, if you buy the 297, we test it with cold traffic, and that is normally pseudo ads. It told you everything about them. Um, subject lines, storylines, micro agreements. This will be fantastic if you like psychology. Uh, calls to action, mailing sequences, um, and everything. Fantastic. 
So there you go, guys. That's exactly what you get. Just going to see if there's any more questions and we'll call it a day, guys. And let me know, did you enjoy that training? That's the big thing. <coughs> CD says, yes, this is a no-brainer. Even after 10 years, Nima Martin, I need to be constantly learning more and up my game. This is a must for anyone. Um, see uh, Hasnain, the inbox is good and the email campaign. So there you go, guys. Uh, you can re-watch this training, guys. Again, um, we put this training on because I knew how many people would benefit inside this group. So you can re-watch this again um, and see the value that he gives. Okay, you can put it on slow. He did go quite fast. Um, hopefully my team got loads of views from that um, as well because my team will watch. My team are going to go through the training. And guys, it doesn't matter what level you're at. If you're brand new to this group or you're brand new to email marketing, simply doesn't matter this will benefit you in fact this will shoot you forward many years from getting this $15 training it's crazy that's only $15 so you need to click the link above here traffic domination dot locks slash hive to get it you need to uh, click that link to jump on it um before the price goes up and it does go up you will see it goes up if you miss it you'll see it goes up and I'm actually pretty confident that when the price go up people will still buy this when they see this video um because it is that good. So click the link above. Um, if you haven't got the link, please let me know if you need to click the link and I'll, my team will get it to you. Thanks, Wade. Very grateful you made aware of this. Exactly. This is this is the thing. I was not aware of this training. Okay, I was not aware of what JK put together um, until... Um, how did I find out about him? Someone, I think someone mentioned him. I asked a few people what his stuff's like. They said it is awesome. Uh, his training's really good, and he's a fantastic guy. So I looked into it. Uh, I jumped on a call with him, and I was blown away. He showed me that introduction. He showed me that training. And I thought, this is something that everyone in this group needs. If you're ever going to be good at email marketing, which is hopefully everyone, I want everyone to do email marketing. That's my kind of goal. Uh, you need this training. Uh, it's a no-brainer. Okay, guys, we're going to call it a day there. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that training. Um, you actually get a lot from re-watching the training, guys. So if you haven't bought the product, I think you're crazy, but you can re-watch it. I'm pretty sure if you watch this training from the beginning, you will buy the product because you get this times 24, much more in-depth. Um, he, he isn't constrained by time. Um inside the trainings, in, inside the um, inboxer and inside the hive. Um, if you're going to get it, try and get the hive as well, guys, because I've just looked for uh, the hive and inboxer. Okay, the first upsell for $15. So for $30, you can pretty much not worry about email marks and training again, how to write emails. All right, it's an absolute no-brainer. Any more questions before we call it a day? Let's see if we can push him to number one. I really want him to be number one. Just check all my questions. Uh, I'm pretty sure you agree, agree, guys. That was one of the best trainings um, that we've put inside this group. Okay, one of the ad hoc ones. Obviously, we've still got the units and everything else, but one of the ad hoc trainings, that was one of the best. Okay, I'm really proud that he came in and done that live for us. It's a big thing for him to come in and do it. Um, he's obviously used to doing presentations and helping people. Um, he's inside the group. If you do have any questions, guys, about the product um, or about anything covered on the training, I'm going to try and get him in a lot more um, to do more trainings for us. Uh, grab this before Monday, before the price goes up, guys. No problem, Phil. It was awesome, says uh, Pearl. Okay, uh, we'll call it a day there, guys. Thanks very much for jumping on. Um, keep an eye out. Do not forget ULSP goes live next week. Okay, I'm going to let everyone in the group know the time. Uh, the best way to make uh, to get yourself on that leaderboard is actually buy this training because it will extract more emails. 
Um, we're going to release that this week. Keep excited. And we will do a replay of this, I think, because the trainer's fantastic. I want everyone to see this to improve their email marketing um, and get the best out of every email they send. Okay, that's the thing. Every email you send is traffic, is money. So get the best um, out of each and every email. And I'll speak to you guys next week with the launch of OLSP. Exciting times. Um, links up there to go grab it. Have a fantastic weekend, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.